are these people? All right. I said we were going to talk about Chris Legion earlier. Chris wrote an article, um, top 10 strategies that propagandists use to manipulate people. So how do you spot Coming it? to a Substack newsletter near you. Well, let us start by asking a simple question. What is propaganda? Which we know is a tool as old as human history itself employed by various entities to sway opinions, shape narratives, and maintain control over others. In today's world, it permeates through every aspect of society, from politics to media to social networks. Understanding its strategies is crucial in navigating the sea of information and inundating our lives. So here are 10 basic strategies that Chris has noticed employed by state propagandists in dece deceitful independent media personalities and establishment influencers. Now, Reef, you, you like to say labels are bad. But he's saying to label your enemies. You. There's a lot of labels sure. on there. Make sure yeah. they're accurate if you're going to use them. So number one is that propagandists label their enemies. They consistently resort to labeling yep. individuals with false claims to strengthen their arguments and tarnish the reputation of others. By employing harmful terms, names, and labels, they categorize people into distinctive groups, fostering division and entrenched animosity. When executed effectively, this strategy redirects focus away from substantive issues or disagreements as the propagandized become preoccupied and fixated with the assigned labels. Consequently, this per perpetuates unwavering conflict between those opposing sides. Right. And then, of course, we've got divide and conquer. They consistently maintain a binary narrative, dividing people over into oversimplified labels such as good or evil, blue versus red left or right, and so on. You support Hamas automatically. You support terrorism if you are against Israel, right? And that's one of the things that... Oh, shit. I hope we didn't just lose it. We're, we're wavering. Um, another tactic they employ is ensuring that individuals within these opposing factions perceive their own group as morally righteous while painting the other group as morally corrupt. And by framing issues in moral terms, they're less likely to question their own positions, clinging to a sense of moral superiority and remaining steadfast in their beliefs. Funny how that works. Right? They're going to spin and twist to the opposite narrative. This is projection. Propagandists often manipulate and defame the names of opposition groups and organizations by distorting their words and intentions. They invert the meaning of the group's identity to cast them in a negative light. For example, if a group identifies as anti-fascist, propagandists will falsely label them as fascists, perverting their name to portray them as the very ideology they oppose. Conversely, they may claim to champion freedom of speech and expression while falsely characterizing genuine anti-fascist movements as proponents of censorship and authoritarianism. Or communism. We see a lot of that. Rent to repeat the narrative. This is the Trump playbook. This is a significant tactic frequently employed by prop propagandists. They consistently utilize specific lies, phrases, or smears, make America great again, repeating them relentlessly through coordinated efforts. These talking points are echoed verbatim across their entire network, forming a massive, unyielding campaign. With such rapid and widespread repetition, these falsehoods seep into the collective consciousness, often leading people to unconsciously accept them as truth. Even individuals who recognize the falsehoods may conform out of fear of societal rejection or ostracization. Say that five times fast. Ostracization, the... ostracization, 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 ostracization. No, no good. The big setup. Another deceptive tactic that many aren't even aware of, frequently employed by propaganda, is, is the deliberate dissemination of false information to their adversaries intending to later exploit it to discredit and vilify them as dishonest. For instance, propagandists masquerading as members of their opposition may post fabricated videos or images on social media, falsely representing them as related to the opposition's cause. Subsequently, as the misinformation spreads virally across social platforms, the propagandists and their network of influencers and agents will expose the falsity, thereby framing their opponents as purveyors of mistruths. Of course, they use in, in, infiltrators. We know that these are Patriot feds. 
uh, agent provocateurs are a well-established and frequently employed tactic utilized by propagandists to dismantle movements, organizations, and individuals they seek to discredit and undermine. Hmm, we were talking about that a little bit earlier when we were talking about the college protests. From protests to political parties, labor unions to revolutionary groups, the use of agent provocateurs remains an old common strategy for propagandists. Their primary objective is to infiltrate, sow discord, dismantle movements and organizations from within. In many instances... In discord. Yes, yeah, so I've heard that somewhere that before. These agents mm -hmm. will also, in many instances, conceal their true identities and engage in on. acts of violence, conceal their true identities and engage in acts of violence, thereby tarnishing the reputation of their adversaries. I recall in the George Floyd protests, there were guys dressed in all black that certainly looked a lot like feds breaking windows. There were pallets of bricks left around for violence to happen. Those are for the agent provocateurs. This allows them to provide yep, their networks of supporters with false justification to portray the infiltrated groups as violent criminals, thus legitimizing arrests or tarnishing their reputations, which is exactly what we saw happening across the country. And of course, we've got the make it a big lie. Another enduring talk tactic utilized by propagandists is the big lie strategy. All right, which is originating, of course, from Nazi propaganda during World War II. This approach has been deployed repeatedly in propagandist campaigns. They fabricate an outrageously false claim, initially met with skepticism by most people, however, through relentless repetition, employing rinse and repeat strategy, the big lie gradually infiltrates the collective subconscious, leading many to eventually accept it as truth. What the shit libs have been calling the big lie for the last three years, of course, is the same thing that they called a big lie for the four years prior to that, which was over the results of the election. And then we've got projection, again, another tactic of the Democrats, as well as of Trump. Grow up, get serious. The projection method is a common tactic employed by propagandists reminiscent of strategies found in the Nazi PSYOP playbook. In this technique, propagandists will deflect attention from their own misdeeds by attributing them to their opponents. They accuse their adversaries of the very actions they themselves are guilty of, all while denying any wrongdoing on their part. Hillary Clinton is the queen of that, of course. And Joe Biden, too. Mm. This strategy forces their opponents... And the one who called her the queen of that is also... Yes, Tulsi Gabbard, that's right. This strategy forces their yeah. opponents into a perpetual defensive stance, diverting attention away from the propagandist's own actions. How many times a week did you beat your wife, sir? Is pretty much the way that they do it. Consequently, they manage... Glad you said wife. <laughs> yes. Consequently, they manage to uh, obscure their own else crimes to beat. through a cycle of deceitful deniability and contentious continuous diversion then here in the past one of the tactics is drawing first blood in which propagandists excelled right prior to the rise of social media was controlling the narrative and being first to disseminate stories leveraging their dominance over yep. legacy media officially appointed propagandists like the associated press and reuters would craft and circulate fabricated narratives ahead of their opposition's awareness whether these stories aim to distract or deceive Propagandists ensured that the initial focus remained on their falsehoods, effectively stifling the emergence of truth and minimizing its visibility to the public, especially in the beginning when it matters the most and, and opinions are being formulated. Well, and especially online, because they've lost the propaganda war of cable. So now they're over here trying to get the destinies and all these other idiots in your eyeball any way in any way possible they can do that and that's chris's 10th you know? point and final point the independent grifter yeah. one of the newest and most insidious yeah. propaganda tactics involves cable news hosts who are abruptly removed from their mainstream media positions due to scandals the or Cuomo's. contract disputes don lemon right tucker carlson don lemon Clinton Stooge, um, 
Beware of these individuals you know, because they but, often well. Who's beware. the one? Mehdi Hassan. He's oh. over at Substack, right? Yes, he started Zeteo or ZDO or whatever he wants to call his new media. Company. Right. Yep. Who did they have on recently? AOC. Was that sponsored oh, by Substack. Oh, that's it. Um, beware of these individuals as they often well, represent. How long? A, how ahead. long before we actually get a, Substack? newsletter near you i told you that's coming any day now she's going to be opening <laughs> up. Will, and you know what she'll get a million she'll be a purple check in a day she'll get a hundred thousand well, subscribers pay her to pay her five dollars she'll make a half a million dollars a month doing that if she wanted to because there's enough shit lives over there that would pay her yeah him too well um, <laughs> beware of these individuals as they often represent a transition of legacy media propagandists to the growing independent social media mm. community. Aware that the era of traditional media is waning, media execs are gradually shifting their focus to social media platforms, forming alliances with tech companies to dominate the independent media space, like YouTube. Ask them! However, this transition is far from straightforward. One common practice entails crafting a narrative around the cable news host's supposed awakening after experiencing scandal or disagreement, leading them to migrate to a seemingly more independent social media platform. Additionally, propagandists and their organizations orchestrate the emergence of manufactured content creators. Um, yep. I'm going to say a name that's going to not be popular here with a lot of people because I think a lot of them like him and he's doing some good mm -hmm. work, but he also, I would put him in this category, which is Judge Andrew Napolitano. Until about the last three yep. or four months, I have vehemently disagreed with this man's views for There's 20 some... years. All of a sudden, he just woke Motherfuckers up. Motherfuckers at, at the hill, too. Some of them. All, um, or all of them, but well, almost who all who came of out of the hill. Yeah. Um, so Chrissy's conclusion you know. is that propaganda stands as the quintessential tool of manipulation wielded by those in power, spanning governments, financial entities, media outlets, social networks, and various other institutions. It's undeniable mean that like propaganda, yes, has been breaking employed. points. Yes, it's undeniable that it's been employed for nefarious purposes. Hunter Biden laptop, Associates for example. Associates of which? Yeah. Um, it's, it's pervasive prevalent, uh, prevalence, uh, especially among those vying for influence and control, has permeated society obfuscating the boundaries between reality and fiction to counteract this manipulation oh, raising but, awareness is imperative Go ahead. but wait there's also not even in the media space there's the independent politician mm. who has Ooh also wee. been part of this uh, pick one pick any of them all of the above in that case dr cohen uh, hey do some of y'all still need to fucking figure that shit out all of them, all every one of them. You know, by, by revealing and studying anyway. the strategies used utilized by propagandists, we can empower ourselves to regain command over our perceptions, fostering a society grounded in truth, moral judgment, and solidarity. Learn how to spot bullshit and turn that bullshit detector up to ten because there's bullshit coming at us bullshit. from everywhere, everywhere. All right. Support independent media. We need it more than ever. I love you all. Good night, fam. Good night, fam. Mwah. Ciao, baby.